Cause there's a hill on the cross. <laughs> on the cross there yes. is blood for me. For me. On the hill there's a cross. On the cross there is blood for me. For me. You can sing it with me. On a hill. starting at verse 4. 1 Peter 4, starting at verse 4. So I may ask for a little participation. Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, somebody say, arm yourselves. Arm yourselves. Also with the same mind, for he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. Somebody say, ceased from sin. Ceased from, from, from sin. That he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lusts of men, but for the will of God. Yeah. 
For we have spent, excuse me, it was starting at verse 1, I'm sorry. We're in verse 3 now. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime. Somebody say, we've spent enough. We've we spent, spent enough. enough of our past lifetime mm -hmm. in doing the will of the Gentiles yes. when we walked, E.D., past tense, mm -hmm. in lewdness, mm -hmm. lust, yeah. drunkenness, yeah. revelries, mm -hmm. drinking parties, yeah. mm -hmm. and abominable idolatries. Mm -hmm. In regard to these, think, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. In other words, the word came so that it could continue to judge the old man to keep the old man dead. That old nature of us. But if we're living according to God in the spirit. Verse 7. But the end of all things is at hand. Somebody say, the end. The end. Of all things. Of all is things. Is at hand. Is at hand. Therefore, be serious and watchful in your scandal. Be serious and watchful in your Empire TV show. Doesn't say that? Okay. <laughs> Be serious and watchful. Have a watch party for how to get away with murder. No? No? Okay. Be serious and watchful in your prayers. And above all things, have, somebody say, fervent love. Fervent love. For one another. For love will cover a multitude Amen. of love sins. Sin. Here it is. Here it is. Be hospitable yes. to one another Amen. without grumbling. Amen. As each one has received the gift, minister it to one another. Somebody say one another. One another. You mean to tell me that parking lot prophecy is supposed to happen? <laughs> 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 Minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. The unfolding grace of God. The unfolding grace of God, which means it's going to bust out of some buildings. Okay. It's going to bust out some oh, windows. Yeah. See, it's not I bust the windows out your car. It's I bust the windows out your church yeah. Amen. with the glory of God. <laughs> If anyone ministers, well, let me back up. Verse 11. If anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles as of the oracle. God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because I could be speaking about anything. Yeah. Yes. But if I'm speaking as the oracles of God, then there is a weight to what I'm speaking. Amen. Even if I'm writing it, there's a weight Amen. to what I'm speaking. Amen. Right? Amen. Right. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies. Amen. Yes. You have a God supply of ability. <laughs> this is true. Amen. Let that sink in. Amen. Amen. Listen, without God, my supply is pretty wimpy. Yeah. Yes. yes. But the scripture says. Do it with the ability that God supplies. And we know God doesn't run out. God doesn't run out. That in all things, God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Verse 12. Beloved. He's talking to the saints. He's talking to everybody. That's right. Yes. Beloved, yes. somebody say, do not think it strange. <laughs> do not think it strange. 
Now that's a song right there. Do not think it's strange concerning the fiery trial, which is the triune. Yeah. Right? Yeah, right? That's right. As though some strange thing happened to you. <laughs> Why is it that the saints are the ones always looking clueless? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. try you as though some strange thing happened to you. <laughs> but, but, mm -hmm. rejoice. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah. rejoice. Rejoice. And again, yes. and again, and again rejoice. <laughs> but, <laughs> rejoice yeah. to yeah. the extent mm -hmm. that you partake in Christ's so. Come on. There's a hill. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's a cross on the hill. Yes. yes. There's a hill on the cross. Yes. There's a cross <laughs> with his blood for me. Bloody and beautiful. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bloody and beautiful. Yes. <laughs> but rejoice to the extent that you partake of Christ's suffering. Oh, what kind of joy? Does God want to pull out of you that would allow you to buck and praise and shout in Ooh. suffering? Come on. Come on. Amen. Mm. Yeah. That when his glory is revealed, you may also be glad with exceeding joy. Verse 14. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, come on. Keyword. Yeah. Christ. <laughs> Blessed are you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. Amen. Oh God, show me your glory. <laughs> show me your glory. <laughs> show me your glory. All right, we'll walk through this trial right here. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you, wow. blessed are you. for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. <laughs> doesn't mean that he's yeah. going to give you a lifetime of suffering. That's right. It just means that every time God wants to uh, add a little weight to you in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Right. Make you a heavyweight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every time God wants to make you a heavyweight champion, yeah. well, yeah. there's going to be some reproach behind that, right. that weight. Right. Everybody wants the glory, yeah. but nobody yeah. wants the reproach. On their part, he is blasphemed, but on your part, he is glorified. Oh, but let yeah. none of you suffer, and this is what we're going to put a plug real quick. Mm -hmm. But let none of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, mm -hmm. an evildoer, or as a busybody in other people's matters. Amen. Yet, if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. Mm -hmm. And this is where God said, I want you to put a plug here. Because he said, in the body, this letter is addressed to Christians. Yes. He's talking about Christian murderers. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Christian thieves. Yeah. Yeah. Christian evildoers. Amen. Christian busybodies. Yeah. Christian busybodies. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I said, okay, Lord, which one of those you want me to deal with today? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's but he lot. said, there's, there's Christian murder going on. Absolutely. The spirit of Cain. Absolutely. Yeah. The spirit of yes. I'm going to I'm going to get my brother in a place of isolation and I'm gonna murder him during harvest time. When we are supposed to be teaming together to bring in the harvest. I'm going to allow jealousy and envy and bitterness and being upset with God about the kind of fruit somebody else is offering versus the kind of fruit that I can give God that God said he will accept. Strange fruit. And I'm going to isolate this person, act like I want reconciliation, only to take them out. So that's happening. 
yeah. as we speak yeah. in the body of Christ. Yeah. You got Christian thieves. God said they're operating in the spirit of Gehazi. Mm -hmm. You have people who are supposed wow. to be serving, but they want to be served. Oh, and God, God says, it's not your time. Oh, it's my not God. your time God. to receive a gift. Not yet, it's not your time God. to go running after the man of God has refused something. It's not your time to go behind his back and ask for something my God. after the man of God has refused it. So you have the spirit of Gehazi, people who are receiving things out of their time mm -hmm. and out of their season mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Then you have the evildoer, and God, God specifically said he's talking about the spirit of Balaam. These are the gifted people who have a gift, who have an ability, who have an anointing, but they're using it to, to curse the people of God mm -hmm. rather than bless them. Oh my God. Yeah. They're caught up in mammon. They're caught up in yeah. uh, yes. whoever will pay yeah. me. Yeah. Whoever yeah. will pay yeah. me, oh, I will God. get this thing done. Oh. Whoever has the biggest check, that's the yeah. place I'm going to show up to. Yeah. Yeah. If you have five people, I'm not coming. That's the spirit of Balaam. Yeah. 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 If you can't do this for me, if you can't, pay, you know, if you can't do my hotel and my plane ticket and you can't promise me a thousand dollars up front, I'm not coming. If it's under a certain amount of people, I'm not coming. So God says all of this is happening in the body of Christ. It's real. But then he said, I want to talk a little bit about the busybody. The spirit of gossip, slander, Idleness and meddling. Mm -hmm. Gossip, slander, idleness, and meddling. He said those four things are tearing apart the universal body. Not just in leadership. But he says because leadership will not come to accountability yeah. mm -hmm. and correct how they're addressing each other, now the cancer has spread to the body. Mm -hmm. Jesus. So now everybody feels like they have a right to expose everybody's business. They, have, they feel like they have a right to jump in and meddle in other people's affairs. So I looked up the, the definitions of this. Busybody means a person who takes it upon himself or herself to interfere in another person's matter. And then God said to me, he said, I have given everyone a sphere of influence, responsibility and authority. I've given everyone a sphere of influence, responsibility, and authority. And each one has his and her limits. Amen. Everybody has a limit. Do you have a first? Can I write a first for a second? This is what the Lord showed me just now as we were in worship. He said, I may be holding this purse, but I don't have the authority to go in it. <laughs> I may be holding this purse, but I'm not responsible for it just because I hold it. And there, he said in the body, there are people who are holding things for other people but they don't have the authority to violate and go in to those particular things. Wow. It's just like in intercession. In intercession, this is what the Lord is saying. He said, in intercession, I give you the authority to hold the soul mm -hmm. up to me in mm -hmm. prayer. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But I, you don't have the right to go digging in that soul. Mm. Right. Amen. The Amen. only thing you have the right to do as an intercessor is to pray for what I pull out the bag. 